is to inspire wonder and discovery uh, and responsibility for our natural and cultural worlds. One of the things that can happen in a museum is that you get real close to uh, real things and that you get to experience things in a way that um, uh, allow a kind of bond between you as a uh, visitor to the museum and the kinds of objects around it. Um, the the puppets are an amazing interpretation tool because, I mean, for dinosaurs, you know, we have fossils. Um, we have all sorts of fossils that are left over from the dinosaurs, and you can have images of what we think dinosaurs might have looked like, but these puppets are really amazing because they bring something to life in a way that's, you know, would have been unimaginable. The uh, puppets are based on uh, the collections of the Dinosaur Institute. These are extensive collections of dinosaurs, and we have juvenile specimens of both Triceratops and T-Rex that have allowed us to reconstruct um, the puppets in a very accurate uh, way. We work very closely with the Dinosaur Institute here at the museum, which is one of the uh, cutting-edge scientific groups looking into the nature of dinosaurs, and uh, um, we depended on the scientific input of Dr. Uh, Louis Chiappi and others in uh, determining what these dinosaurs should look like and how they should act. As we worked closely with the Dinosaur Institute, we used this as an opportunity to create three-dimensional models that were uh, really representative of how dinosaurs might have uh, moved, uh, what they might have uh, looked like in a variety of ways, including the skin texture, color, things like that. I think the puppets are uh, great vehicles for uh, teaching science, for essentially uh, um, teaching the kids and the families how uh, paleontologists uh, interpret the evidence and, and answer questions such as what did uh, dinosaurs eat and how did they behave and so on. So, trying to make friends with that large piece of steak right there. And, um, you know, I think we're going to come on forward over this way because... This museum is doing something that not only no museum in this country, but no museum in the entire world is doing. We do 12 shows a week with these puppets for audiences of anywhere from 12, a really intimate little experience, to 500. It's really expansive and dynamic experience with everyone screaming and shouting. One of the things I love about the Dinosaur Encounters program is that it's, it's so unique and um, it, it, it's something that people can't experience anywhere else. Uh, it, it, it combines uh, this, this element of, of fantasy with the science in a way that I think you could only do in a museum like the Natural History Museum. The puppets are so amazing that automatically you're just focused on the puppet wondering, you know, you know it's not alive, but you're wondering, oh, is this what it looked like when it was live? And I think people do that anyways. When they walk into the museum, they see these huge mounts of these dinosaurs that used to walk the earth and I think the first thing that runs through everybody's head is wow I can't believe you know these things were alive at one time and then to see a puppet that you know might have actually been you know what those live dinosaurs would have looked like is just it can just blow people's minds you know it's it's like um, seeing what you always wanted to see growing up. Uh, a lot of adults act the same way. Um, I mean, it's one of my favorite parts is coming upon somebody who's totally absorbed in looking at a display, and then they're like, yeah! and they, uh, <laughs> they're just as surprised as kids to see a dinosaur walking through the museum. At the same time, during our educational shows, when we have the GIs lecturing, 
then I think it becomes a lot more clear that there's all kinds of research being done and facts being gathered on these terrific animals. I think when the students and school groups and also just general public come see our presentations, that they're taking away not only knowledge and facts and um, hard science content, they're also getting an appreciation and understanding for how we fit into the universe, how we're just a small little little speck on a grand, grand continuum. Um, I see people's lives changed every day. I see their minds blown every day. The T-Rex, I think, is like a Pied Piper as it walks through the museum. The kids just, they, they, they have to follow it. So they're absolutely choosing, you know, this is something that they, they want to understand more about and they're totally fascinated with. And uh, through the process, they're getting a lot of uh, other in information that they wouldn't get otherwise. There's so many bright faces, big eyes, and, and they scream and they yell and they look away and they don't want to look away and they look back again and... Getting in, inside the mind of a 65 million year old creature is just like the most intricate and multi-level character that I've ever had to play as an actor, so it's just... Um, it's, it's magical. When I hear this roar kind of wafting up into my office, I know, you know that the kids are responding to dinosaurs out on the floor again. And you watch this uh, as you see the performances, and you see the interaction between the kids and the dinosaurs, and it's really quite amazing. It's, it's that balance between that little bit of fear that gives you an air. <laughs> and the learning experience that kind of, uh, you know, makes it last a very long time as a kind of seminal uh, event in your learning life. Do you like your pilots? Very good. Here's our dinosaur walking on its feet. Are you sure? Look very carefully. Is this the fit? I thought he was real. I, I, when, I, when he was walking out, I didn't know it. I, I thought he was real. I was like, what is that? I think bringing theatre into the museum just assists, assists greatly the, the experience for uh, the, the general public because they, they can go away with a, a really exciting, um, you know, heart-pounding, you know, running, jumping, squealing, screeching experience that is really hard to forget.